and welcome to That's English. Hello. El tema del programa de hoy. Preparar y servir una cena en casa. Cuando termine el programa, podrás hacer sugerencias sobre la comida y dar instrucciones para su preparación. Podrás hablar sobre la cantidad de comida y los ingredientes que se necesitan. Podrás dar la bienvenida a tus invitados y ofrecerles algo de comer y de beber. Jeff and Alice invited Hugh and Claire to dinner. Well, Hugh and Claire are going to arrive very soon. Cuando veas el programa, te darás cuenta de que la comida no ha salido exactamente según lo planeado. Intenta encontrar la respuesta a la siguiente pregunta. Where does the food come from? Where does the food come from? Knives, forks, spoons, glasses, and four plates. Coffee cups, saucers, and teaspoons. Okay. Lay the table after you cook the food. How much did you buy? I think that's enough for four people. That's not enough. How much did you buy? I bought half a pound. Half a pound? How much chicken is in the recipe? Half a pound. Half a pound of chicken for four people? This recipe is for two people. You didn't buy enough chicken. I'll get some more. <laughs> It's half past seven. The shops are shut. Hugh and Claire will be here in half an hour. I'll cook lots of vegetables. Oh, no, this is terrible. Here's a tin of best chicken. Jeff, that's cat food. It's very expensive, cat food. I know. You lay the table. And I'll buy some meals from the Indian takeaway. Okay. You cook the rice. Add the rice when the water boils. Don't make it too salty. <sighs> Lovely to see you. Uh, where's Jeff? Uh, he's in the bathroom. Oh, here's some wine. Uh, you like Spanish wine, don't you? Yes, we do. <laughs> we bought white wine. Jeff doesn't like red wine, does he? No, he doesn't. <laughs> Shall I put it in the fridge? Uh, I'll do it. Oh. Uh, can I help you in the kitchen? No, it's fine. Thank you. Jeff, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. Yeah. Would you like some peanuts? No doubt. ¿Tú crees que Hugh sospecha algo? Si no sospecha, es que es un poco tonto. Veamos. Where does the food come from? You lay the table. And I'll buy some meals from the Indian takeaway. Tú pon la mesa y yo voy al restaurante indio a comprar algo para llevar. The Indian takeaway. But why did they get the food from the Indian takeaway? ¿Por qué? Vamos a escuchar a Jeff y a Alice mientras comentan las cantidades de comida que necesitan. How much did you buy? I think that's enough for four people. How much did you buy? ¿Cuánto compraste? I think that's enough for four people. Creo que eso es suficiente para cuatro personas. Oh dear, I don't think it's enough for four people. 
Alice doesn't think it's enough either. This recipe is for two people. You didn't buy enough chicken. No compraste suficiente pollo. You didn't buy enough chicken. También podía haber dicho simplemente, you didn't buy enough. Sí, ambas oraciones significan lo mismo. Okay, we've got the food. Now we must do something with the food. We have to cook it. Aquí tenemos a Jeff dándole instrucciones a Alice para guisar el arroz. Add the rice when the water boils. Don't make it too salty. Add the rice when the water boils. Don't make it too salty. No lo hagas demasiado salado. Don't make it too salty. Very important. Coffee cups, saucers, glasses, plates. Look at the time, it's getting late. Lay that table, nice fork spoons. It's half past seven, they'll be here soon. Have you got enough chicken? Have you got enough meat? What are you thinking? This isn't enough to eat. You'll have to go to the takeaway. We'll eat this chicken another day. Off you go. Have you got enough coffee cups, saucers, glasses, plates? Look at the time, it's getting late. Lay that table, nice fork spoons. It's half past seven, they'll be here soon. It's lovely to see you. Are you feeling fine? Please come on in. Oh, what a nice bottle of wine. Would you like some peanuts? Would you like a drink? Would you be ready soon, I think? I hope. Have you got enough cup cups, saucers, glasses, plates? Look at the time, it's getting late. Lay that table, nice fork spoons. It's half past seven, they'll be here soon. It's time for dinner. Es la hora de cenar. to see you. Come in. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Pasad. Me alegro de veros. Lovely to see you. Encantada de veros. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. Sure. Would you like some peanuts? Would you like some peanuts? Unos cacahuetes. Would you like? Es la forma más corriente de ofrecer algo de beber o de comer a los invitados. Y ahora veamos la escena de nuevo. Escucha con atención el vocabulario que se refiere a la comida. Cómo prepararla y cómo ofrecerla. Al final, verás que Jeff dice una pequeña mentira. A ver si sabes cuál es. I know. You lay the table, and I'll buy some meals from the Indian takeaway. Okay. You cook the rice. Add the rice when the water boils. Don't make it too salty. Lovely to see you. Uh, where's Jeff? Uh, he's in the bathroom. Oh, here's some wine. Uh, you like Spanish wine, don't you? Yes, we do. <laughs> we bought white wine. Jeff doesn't like red wine, does he? No, he doesn't. <laughs> Shall I put it in the fridge? Uh, I'll do it. Oh. Uh, can I help you in the kitchen? No, it's fine. Thank you. Jeff, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Uh, would you like a drink? Yes, please. Yeah. Would you like some peanuts? No, thanks. 
To Alice and Jeff, to the new house. Cheers. Cheers. This food is delicious. Did you cook this, Jeff? Yes. He's a very good cook, isn't he? Claro que no había hecho la cena. Por eso tuvo que contar una mentira inocente. Mmm. Mm. This food is delicious. Did you cook this, Jeff? Yes. Ahora veremos a Claire y a Hugh llegando a la cena. De vez en cuando congelaremos la imagen para darte tiempo a adivinar la frase que debería utilizarse en cada ocasión. Podrás elegir entre diversas posibilidades. Por ejemplo, Yes, thank you. Cheers. Lovely to see you. ¿Cuál de ellas es la utilizada por Claire? Oh, come in. It's nice to see you. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Ahora, ¿qué dice Alice? Estas son las posibles respuestas. Yes, we do. Yes, we are. Here's some wine. You like Spanish wine, don't you? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Otras dos opciones entre las que puedes escoger. Yes, please. No, he doesn't. We bought white wine. Jeff doesn't like red wine, does he? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Y ahora, una escena más. Elige entre las siguientes alternativas. Delicious. Cheers. Pero esta vez, hablan todos al mismo tiempo. To Alice and Jeff. To the new house. Cheers. 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 Y esto es todo por hoy. Ya sabes cómo hacer sugerencias sobre la comida y cómo dar instrucciones para prepararla. Cómo hablar de las cantidades de comida y de los ingredientes necesarios. Cómo dar la bienvenida a tus invitados. Y cómo ofrecerles algo de beber o de comer. Y ahora, una pequeña tarea para que practiques estas expresiones. Imagínate que una persona inglesa quiere preparar tu plato favorito. Intenta darle las indicaciones necesarias. In English, of course. Para que pueda hacerlo a tu gusto. Good luck and goodbye. See you soon. Bye.